Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is White History Month? No, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no, no. I, I, right. uh, I, I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? And stop still? talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. The whole thing, especially the president and Democrats now are talking about income inequality, and that's basically what, you know, when you talk about the richest 85 people on the planet, right? Yeah. It's income inequality. Do you think that's, looking at, you know, what's happening in the news now, is that a good idea? Do it's you a great idea. It is the greatest idea. Uh, we have a much more vibrant society when we don't have such a vast chasm between the haves and the have-nots. We need uh, that middle ground that we call the middle class, the people who buy everything, people who use the uh, products that the rich are creating, if they're creating anything other than wealth, right? right. So it's, it's what's happening with the Chinese economy right now. They're changing their whole outlook because they need consumers. Yeah. And without a middle class, you're not going to have consumers. You're not going to have it at the level that we normally would have it. So can we? Can I go back to because I, I I thought what you said was fascinating because you called it bull when you said people can't you know pull themselves up. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't Today? or cannot? Yeah. No. You don't. No, I don't. I don't. Hey, you and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. Yeah. You know, I said, and it's probably get me in trouble, but I said to some of my colleagues recently, said, so I know that it's an issue, but I've been, it seems like every single day on television I'm talking about race and it's because of the news cycle, it's in the news, but I'm so, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I want to I wanna just go, this is over, can we move on? And, and, and if you talk about it, it exists. Right. Yeah. It's not like it exists and we refuse to talk about it. But making it a bigger issue than it needs to be is the problem we have. So I understand you recently had a birthday. You're 27? No, uh, no, no, no. You got that all 37. 37, 37. Yeah. We Gee, have a little surprise whiz. for you. Can we get it? There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> That's more like it. That you <laughs> Happy birthday, sir. Thank you, Doug. Thank you for joining us here. Oh, it's a pleasure to be we here. Appreciate pleasure you. To talk. So